Today we would like to talk about streaming and how to use streaming from the cloud. And that's why we set up an, an instance in the cloud, an Amazon instance in the cloud, where we have a running VRED session installed. And we would just like to briefly explain on how the workflow can be when having um, the VRED instance set up in the cloud. Yeah, we have here an Amazon cloud instance running. It's a, a P38X large instance. And uh, I connected to it via the Windows Remote Desktop protocol. And what we did, we installed Fred and we loaded this beautiful Skoda already. So now to give you access via streaming, I can go to the preferences and to the web interface. Here under authentication, I'll add a user for you, Simon. So uh -huh. I'll add Simon. And before we started this recording, we were talking about the secure password that Simon will use to log in. I'll add myself as well. So Christoph and uh, password. Okay. So that's, I guess, the process that we always need to set up in advance in the cloud. Of course, this could be automated. It could be a VWIT core instance with the same preferences running at all times. Right. Yeah. But at the moment, how can I connect to that instance in my browser? You go to the IP address, uh, this one. So that's the IP address of the Amazon Cloud instance. It's 3.238.5. Five seven yeah. dot one eight four, and the port okay. we use is eight 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 eight, so four times eight. Okay, so I need a column like these two points and four times the eight, and then yep. I okay now I get asked what's my username and what's my password. So I guess my username is Simon. And my Simon is and the password. The password complicated one from earlier. Yeah, and then I press on the sign in button. Ah. Perfect. And now it seems to me that I'm connected to the VRED web server. So it looks yeah. exactly the same as if I would type in on my computer localhost, followed by the port. Right. And now I'm opening the stream app. Yep. Okay. And All right. Once so, it's open, you should be able to navigate already. And I should see in the Fred scene here. Yeah. I see that you rotate the car. Perfect. So the navigation is the same as if I would use VRED. So I'm pretty much hand free on my keyboard. Yeah. I can just navigate with my mouse. And you see the change immediately right now in your VRED instance. Right. Yeah. So even if I zoom in, if I go closer to the rims, for example, you see it. And for me, it feels more or less as if I would navigate in VRED. In all fairness, there's a little bit of a delay. So I can feel a difference in comparison to navigate and in VRED itself. But it's totally fine. It feels yeah. totally, totally smooth and acceptable. And while you navigate and look around, I will log in via my browser to the same session. So I use uh -huh. the same IP, same port, and now my username, my password. So, and I start the stream app as well. And now, if you navigate around, yeah, you see that, or I see that you navigate uh, around. So I will open maybe the variants and look at the variants menu. Mm -hmm. And those variants are automatically loaded from the uh, Fred scene running. So I don't need to set up anything in addition. I'll go to the color and choose a different color. This is a brighter white, but I like maybe this red. Ah, so you just changed the color, right? Because my color changed in my browser. Yeah, so it's immediately, what I do is uh, you see immediately and the other way around. So if you don't know, so whatever I, you so like. So if I change something, if I go to the same menu for color paint and change the color to this nice... Uh, blue. Blue, yeah, see, I'm not sure. <laughs> color. Okay, yeah. perfect. So technically, right now, we are connected to the same video stream, right? Yeah, running in the Amazon Cloud. We both have a browser on our desktop mm -hmm. and are connected to this Amazon Cloud so instance. In theory, we could open this um, stream multiple times. So I could open it probably on another device, on another browser window, and we are all seeing exactly the same. So whenever I change something here on my computer, 
on my browser, you will see the change immediately on your computer, no matter what I change. Right. Right. So I guess we could just, right now we're using a desktop computer, or maybe you're using a notebook, I don't know, but this should then also easily work with a mobile device from everywhere, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's just the browser, so we could open the web page on our mobile phones. And I, I'm going to try it out, maybe. Yeah, sure. let's do this. So the so IP just use my mobile phone. is 3. Ah, and you see, I'm connected to the stream app at the same time. I'll connect as well to 3.8. Uh -huh. Need to authenticate again. And then I'm actually connected to the stream. And right now I'm navigating on my iPhone in the browser. So I'm zooming in, zooming out. And at the same time, at the same time, we can see that the browser that I'm looking at is changing also. Yeah, right now I connected as well. So you can see here on my phone in the camera that now it's green and if I choose red now on my desktop browser it turns red in the iPhone window as well and you can navigate you can navigate on the in the browser window you can navigate here if you use your finger like this mm -hmm. that works as well cool so technically spoken right now um, to summarize it, we are setting up an instance in the cloud. We yep. provide access to this link. We can use different security methods. In this case, we use the password authentication. Uh, there are more um, security methods implemented into v as well. And then we can just share the link for giving access to the stream. And all the people automatically who have access to the stream can review the data on the fly from any device from anywhere. Yeah, so, and we didn't yeah. install any plugin, so we didn't install any plugin uh, on on our phones. We didn't install any plugin uh, on our uh, desktop machines. It's just just the browser that's needed. Perfect. So in the end, I could just copy and paste this link. I could just um, copy and paste it to an email over here. Type in the link, send the link to another person, and he just needs to open the link. And as yeah. long as he has the right password and the right username, he could just connect to the session. Exactly. Sounds cool. Perfect. Perfect. All right. <laughs> All right, Chris. And thanks for setting up the Amazon instance. Yeah. I'm quite curious. Um, yeah. What else is possible with this, this streaming in the future? Let's thanks see. for this session and talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Take Bye. Care. Bye.